Hi, I'm Chris, and I'd like to welcome you to Faith Elements. And not only is this Faith Elements, this is, uh, I'm, I'm experimenting, I'm doing some uh, Q&A videos, and this is going to be my first live interactive interview. This is Charles from the Change Vlog. Say hi, Charles. Hi, how you doing? You, I said say hi, Charles, and you said hi, how you doing? You see how this is going to go? Oh, okay, I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> but anyway... If you want to check out Charles's channel, you go right here. Not, I'm not even making that an option. You need to go right here. If you click on this link, this video will pause. You can you can go to his channel and you can see some things, and then you can close out that window and come back here when you're you're done. But let me tell you, you'll be there a while. So uh, Charles, the change vlog. How would you describe the change vlog? What is that all about? Um, First and foremost, the change vlog is a healing process for myself. Um, you know, I had an event in my life that wasn't expected, um, was quite devastating, and it changed everyday life for me. And I, I started to seek help, counseling, help through my church, my pastors, and I really identified four areas that were greatly affected by this, this tragedy in my life, and I realized I needed to change them. I needed to make drastic changes if I was going to find joy in my life again. And so first and foremost, the change vlog is about healing, and um, that's how it all started. Now it's really become uh, bigger than that. It's become like three or four things that I wasn't expecting. Um, it's still a healing process. It's a way for me to hold myself accountable every day, um, and I love that aspect of it, and, and I always want that to be the focus. But it's also become a family scrapbook. Um, I can document my days with my kids, and um, that's become amazing. And it's also been a way for me to reach other people and help other people. I've received multiple emails, contacts, text messages, all kinds of stuff from people who I hadn't heard from before ever in my life or hadn't talked to in 10, 12 years. And all of a sudden these people are coming into my life and I'm talking with them daily, affecting their lives in, in a positive way. And that's so much bigger than me that it's something I never really expected. And then it's just become this incredible hobby on top of that. So the change vlog started out as a very simple idea of healing and it's become something much bigger than me. And um, I think I went long-winded on you, but that's, that to me right now is what the change vlog means. And what do, you, what do you think is at the root of that change? Where do you draw your inspiration for that? The big thing for me was I had to survive. So here I was, a, a new single father with three children, and I couldn't focus on myself. I couldn't, I couldn't neglect these responsibilities I had, a house to pay for, children to feed, um, all of these things. So it left very little time for myself in the healing process. I, you know, I had to dig through that. So I needed just not a lot of time, but some way, uh, like an, you know, maybe an hour a night or something, where I could just focus on those areas that I identified. So as I, as I started this project in... Um, decided that this is what I wanted to do and, you know, really believed in it, the, the change started to come from places I wasn't expecting. It started to come from community. Um, before I thought it was something about, you know, just an interaction for me, a way to monitor myself, to babysit myself, for lack of a better term. But then the contact and the, the outreach where I could actually make friends from my own living room, um, friends like you, Chris, you know, that have made a huge influence on my life. So I think the biggest change and the biggest thing that has driven this, this whole vlog that I never saw coming was the community. And that, to me, is just amazing. The fact that I went from this very lonely single father of three who had a major loss in his life to all of a sudden being surrounded with people who had similar beliefs, similar hobbies, and just wanted to help and be generous. And that, in turn, made me want to help and be generous, and it, it's just changed my life immensely. That is cool. Now, you, now you mentioned this being a, a family scrapbook, because they're involved in this, too. And I, uh, I was watching one of your videos uh, just recently, and, and I, you were taking a trip, a rather long trip, a driving trip, and you, uh, you, know, you showed the camera in the, in the back of the car, and uh, you know, the kids <laughs> are asleep, of course, and, and you're driving. And I just, it, it came to me that I'm going to run for governor on this one platform, and I think I'm going to be elected on this. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm, I'm announcing my governor. No, I'm not, not doing anything like that. But when you go on vacation, the parents are doing all the driving, the kids are in the back of sleep like yours were doing, and then when you get there, all you want to do is lay down and go to sleep, and the kids are like, oh, let's bounce off the wall. We want to go do things, right? Right? Am I right? Yes. 
So I'm going to run for governor on one platform that, uh, you know, you have to keep your kids awake in the car while you're traveling <laughs> so that when you get there, you can all crash at the same time. Do you, do you not agree? You can see that video. I think by that would be here, fantastic. As, as we're weaving through the mountains and, like, you know, I'm on my third Mountain Dew, which I'm not even supposed to be drinking because of the physical fitness aspect of my vlog. You know, I'm, <laughs> the, I'm, you know these I guys are in the back snoring. And, Let me tell you. It just, you know, that's, I agree with that platform 100%. All right, good. I'm getting elected. All right. But on a more <laughs> serious note, how, does, how, has, um, how has your faith been impacted by the change? And the change, not, not, well, yeah, let's, let's, let's look at it from the change blog perspective. How has your faith been impacted? Not just you as a person, but Charles as a person of faith. I think this is one of the, the coolest things is, um, I have a very unique story of coming to faith anyways. I was 23 years old before I found Christ. And um, the last 10 years has really been, you know, up and down, fine-tuning that, that faith and that relationship. And I think there was always something missing, and I didn't know what it was and that kind of thing. And one thing that's come out through this, and I think I've realized what was always missing, was service. Huh. And, um, you know, I think that was, I never knew where I could fit in and where I could serve. And um, through this vlog, you realize that service is just really making an impact. It doesn't have to be standing in a line handing out food. It doesn't have to be building a house. It can be those things, and those things are amazing, and I would like to do that. But the one I wasn't doing those things, and I wasn't sure how I was affecting other people as a Christian and just as a, as a nice, as a good human being. Yeah. So as I vlogged and people started reaching out to me, I just saw windows and opportunities, and one of the biggest stories for me is when I found Christ at 23, I had a friend who was very influential through my teen years as I was looking at faith, and I had studied everything from Judaism to Catholicism to atheism, atheism, and it was, it was Christianity that really brought me home, and someone who had a really big influence on that was my friend Jenny, and I'm sitting there talking with her about this newfound passion and this belief, and she's like, how often do you read the Bible? And I'm like, I don't own a Bible. I'm like, there's one in church on Sunday. I read it when I'm there, you know, when he says, I carry the one. They got them right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so she immediately stood up, went to another room, came back a couple minutes later with a green paperback covered NIV Bible and said, here's your first Bible. Oh. And I immediately started reading it. Well, recently through this vlog, I've had different people reach out to me and one particular story is um, a friend of mine uh, who I met you know, or online, lives up in Wisconsin, and she's talking about her faith and how she struggles with it, with practicing it, and, you know, she's tried to go to church before but never felt at home and didn't have the right people around her to have these conversations, and we have, we just started having these conversations nightly. And then one night she's talking about how, you know, I said something about scripture, and she's like, how do you know that? And I'm like, well, how do, often do you read the Bible? Man, this sounds familiar. Yeah. And she says, well, I don't own a Bible. And it just was like, and I was like, what? And this is a Saturday evening. So I go to church the next morning and I'm just, it's been on my brain and I'm like, you know, she doesn't own a Bible. Like, holy cow, this is my situation 10 yeah. years ago. It's like almost 10 years to the date. So I leave church and I'm driving through the town nearby and there's borders with um, a going out of business sale. This is oh. 40 to 70% off. So I run into Borders, and I swear to you, Chris, there is one Bible left in the store. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? One Bible left Why would in the there store. Be it's like a $40 Bible for 15 bucks. <laughs> I'm like, how, what, like, really? Could this be any more like, really? Ah! You know? And so why, do we, I, why do we get surprised? Why do we I don't know why we get surprised, but I had to buy it. I had to buy that Bible. I had to put it in the mail. It's, in, it's actually in my vlog, mailing it and that stuff, and... And like, you know, my friend has now received that Bible. I get random texts throughout the day. It's like, hey, just read John, you know, what, check that out. And it's like, um, so I went from meeting this person who didn't know how to practice her faith and didn't own a Bible to now she's sending me texts like, hey, did you read this? Oh. And like, <laughs> that's the service. That's the part of my faith that I was, I was missing before. And not to like float my own boat, like I... I you know, 23, 33 years of not doing that, one Bible doesn't make up for that, but now I've kind of like seen the light, you know, and I've kind of said, okay, now I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. And that is really a focus for me now is reaching out to people on yeah. YouTube, in my life, in my workplace, and understanding what their situation is and what they need to open a door yeah. to Christ. Because again, I can't, 
I, when my friend and I talk about this at work all the time, about how, you know, that old thing, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Right, right. Kind of that's what I want to do with YouTube now, is I want to do my healing process, I want to do this stuff, but I also want to, I want to show people the water so that they have the choice of drinking or not. Yeah. And, 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 and you that, know, we're not going to pat ourselves on the back, but, you know, if you do nothing else on YouTube, you have touched one life. Uh, now, of course, you've touched more, but there's one life, you know, isn't, isn't that just amazing isn't that a god celebratory moment right there i think it is I, I yeah mean, and I, I it just it definitely affirms that, things you? you know for me it definitely affirms things you know that makes me you know that i made that right choice 10 years ago and yeah that i'm on a path of of being a good person on this earth and living you know if you know if only we could all be like christ but you know at least right. trying to be that good um, and, and you know there are as, those as, there are those people that don't think that the internet is is a ministry and that you can you know you can't be in a real relationship with people through internet based things and you know to an extent I I, I do agree with them but I, I, to a large extent I'm completely in dis disagree with that anymore and one of the reasons is when I watch your videos there is an openness, a transparency, there's a um, there, there's an honesty that people need to see and, and that's one of the reasons why I admire your effort and I admire the change vlog so much is you are just being you, you know, we, we want to fake the funk and, and, and try to act like everything's all perfect and hunky-dory but you're being real on YouTube and it's not in a Oh, woe is me way. It's not in a hey, look at me way. It's hey, let's grow from this way. And I just admire that. And, and I, I just wanted to say that. And uh, that wasn't really a question. I'm sorry. But. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I mean, again, you know, when I first got on, I talk about this sometimes in my video, like, I didn't expect anyone to watch it but me. I, I really thought it was about me and being accountable and making the changes for me. And no way did I ever think that I would have a subscriber base and people watching and that kind of thing so and, and yeah. let alone receiving messages and how I could help people so um, I really appreciate that that's your opinion and um, thank you so much for the support I mean this is this is overwhelming at times how much it's been such a positive force yeah where do you uh, where do you see the change vlog in five years Whoa, five years, that's crazy. I have committed, at first, the first thing I wanted to do with YouTube piece is I knew I wanted to keep this video and I wanted to be sure if I was going to be able to do it, you know, with, with everything that I do because I do have a full-time job, three kids as a single parent, I coach high school wrestling and that's, you know, there's a lot of hats that I'm wearing there so I was like, can I really have a vlogger hat too? So I, yeah. I committed to 30 days, that was the first step and I wanted to see where it went in 30 days. Within those 30 days I had received three emails, two from complete strangers, and one from someone I hadn't talked to in 12 years. Wow. And again, they were all positive, and it just confirmed to me that, like, okay, I need to extend this. So I've committed right now to one year. Okay. Um, at the end of that year, I really want to see where I'm supposed to be, like, um, you know, continue to pray on that, and then, like, I would love the change vlog to be part of a, a bigger a bigger unit on YouTube. Like I would like to find some way to take more Christian channels and make us work together as one ministry. Oh, so I man. guess that's, you know, if I get done with this one year and I really feel like this is still the best thing for me, the family, and for helping others as a service, right? Um, then I would love to take that one year of experience and knowledge and find other YouTubers like yourself. Maybe, you know, there's a few others that you and I talk to regularly maybe unite these people under one effort so we can reach more people and and you know have this service project become bigger and help more people Very and that kind cool. of stuff and that you know show more people the water i guess well um charles i just uh i just want to thank you for being on faith elements the change vlog on faith elements that's very that's that's cool that's just neat stuff I'm so simple, like simple-minded and easily amused that this, this technology and uploading and all this stuff just still amazes me. I mean, I understand the technology, but it's just so so much fun. And um, this has been fun, and I, I just want to thank you for being on here and, and for giving me a few minutes of your time. And, and if you will go, um, first of all, 
Charles has four areas of life of of, the, of his life, not eight. That we, has four areas that of his life that he's looking at. Did we we didn't talk about those four areas, did we, Charles? No, we didn't. And um, if real quickly, the four areas that were affected by this loss and and I really think are are vital to me moving forward and finding joy and, and having a stable home for my kids um, are really emotional wellness um, or emotional health, um, then financial stability. Um, then we go to physical fitness, because again, during this tragedy, everybody reacts differently. I actually admittedly gained 38 pounds. Yeah, I'm a stress eater. And that's something that, you know, it was really rough for me. Yep. Um, being a high school wrestling coach, I never wanted to be that coach that was too big in the corner to wrestle with his guys. Yeah. So, I, you know, it's important to me to get that off and um, just so I can live longer and, you know, be healthier and that kind of thing. And then the last thing is spiritual growth, which... I mean, like I said, I never saw it coming, but it's, the vlog has helped me identify that, that big area that was missing in my, in my faith and um, that of service, and I'm hoping that I can continue that um, through the vlog. Yeah, that's awesome. You set goals. You know, that, that there's something to be said for seeking out that transformational life of actually setting goals, actually saying, these are things that I need to address, and you've done that and done it beautifully. So I, that's that's inspirational, and I hope um, I hope you will take a moment to go and click on this link right here to go to Charles's channel again, and um, of course make sure you hit subscribe up above, and not only hit subscribe, but there's also the little update thing where you can ask YouTube to send you emails when Charles uploads a new video, and uh, you can walk with him in this venture, and 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 I'm telling you, he enjoys that, right? You enjoy when people like oh. Yeah. To, to have people comment and, and follow along on my journey and then like I've had people help me too in, in return with you know I'll be talking about something that's going on and someone will say hey check out this website and yeah. there it is a physical fitness website that helps me you know figure out my nutrition and stuff like that so it's it's much appreciated um, it's very exciting and uh, you know thank you so much for those people who have been supporting me and following along my journey and, and everyone is welcome awesome well thank you again and thank you, you there at home that have been joining us for this little, uh, little back and forth. And uh, just hope you'll, uh, hope you'll check out the change vlog. And I hope you'll learn something that not only about Charles, but about yourself and your own faith walk. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.